this is the topic of shock and the relationship of shock with uh, mixed venous oxygen saturation. So, as they know that MBO2 is called the mixed venous oxygen saturation and to differentiate the values of MBO2 in different kinds of shock is very important because they could mention the MBO2 in a vignette and expect you to know what will happen to the oxygen in the venous blood, right? So I just want to give you a, guys a background about what happens and why is it that the mixed venous blood oxygen can uh, increase or decrease in certain, certain situations. So, for example, let's talk about septic shock. In septic shock, we have a hyperdynamic state. Why? Because the cytokines that are released are going to cause vasodilation. This vasodilation will decrease the systemic venous resistance. It will, however, increase the cardiac output. And this increase in cardiac output is mainly due to the hyperdynamic state of this condition. Now, when you increase the cardiac output, here is your artery, here is the capillaries, and here is your vein. When your cardiac output is so high in the arteries, when you have so much blood going in a hyperdynamic state, then what happens is that the blood from here is going to gush. These are the capillaries, by the way. And so the blood from the arteries is going to gush into the veins instantaneously. It's going to take way lesser transit time to pass through the capillaries and go into the veins. So because the speed is so high, the speed of transition is so high, that is why the oxygen carried by the blood in the arteries is not dissipated completely to into the capillaries and here are the tissues and thus into the tissues. That is why the blood takes along with themselves a lot more oxygen back into the veins. That is why the mixed venous oxygen is increased in a hyperdynamic state which has a high cardiac output. Now let's look at this. If you have a septic shock like we discussed the MbO2 is going to increase because the cardiac output is really high. Whereas in cardiogenic shock, the cardiac output is decreased, so the MbO2 is decreased. In So now you know that the septic shock is the only condition in which the, uh, the oxygen, mixed oxygen, is increased in the veins. And that will help us a great deal in distinguishing between the different types of shock when you have a vignette given. So this is the, just the concept about mixed oxygen. I will go over other details of shock in other videos for each type of shock.